Uh, Mom. Mom, right here. Hey, did you get through security okay? Yeah, obviously. So why didn't you come in with everyone else? They took us in a back way, around all the press. Did you talk to any of the cameras? Yeah. And? I just said this case is about us as Americans wanting to be treated equally by our government and under the law. We are going into court today with that simple request. You did it like that? <laughs> What's wrong with that? I mean, you seem really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, cell phones off. Come on, let's go find our seats. Wait, were we done time for soccer practice? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go, let's go. What do you mean you're not sure? Well, who knew we were going to go through an actual trial, Elliot? I mean, who knows what we're going to have to do today? Because personally, I have never sued Arnold Schwarzenegger before. <laughs> now, move it. I had a hard time relating to the concept of being in love when I was married to my husband. I honestly just couldn't relate to people when they said they were in love. I thought they were overstating their feelings. <laughs> Making a big deal out of something. It, it just seemed dramatic. When you grow up in the Midwest and in a farming family, there's a pragmatism that's part of the fabric of life. And I remember as a young girl talking to my mom about love and marriage, and, and she would say, you know, Marriage is more than romantic love. It's more than excitement. It's hard work. <laughs> and uh, in my family, that seemed really true. <laughs> um, so I thought that's what I was signing up for when I got married to him. Not that it would be bad, but that it would be hard work. When I first met Chris, I was teaching a computer class, and she was a student. But then we ended up being friends, and I began to realize that the feelings I had for her were really unique, and they were absolutely <laughs> taking over my thoughts and my entire self. And I grew to realize I had a very strong attraction to her and that I was falling in love with her. And not only were we in love, but we wanted to join our families and have the kind of life of commitment and stability that we both really appreciated. How convinced are you that you are gay? You've lived with a husband, you said you loved him. Some people might say, well, it's this and then it's that, and it could be this again. I'm convinced because at 47 years old, I have fallen in love one time, and it is with Chris. If Prop 8 were undone, and kids like me growing up in Bakersfield right now could never have to know what this felt like, their entire lives would be on a higher arc. They would live with a higher sense of themselves that would imp improve the quality of their entire life. And that's what I hope is the outcome of this case. I hope for something for Chris and I, but other people over time would benefit in such an even more profound, life-changing way. That's what I hope for. <laughs>